Hello guys, this is Karen. Um, I've had a request by one of my dear friends um, to do a reading for me with my horse oracle cards, tarot. Um, so I thought I'd give it a bash. So I hope it resonates with you. You know who you are, you know what your question was and I'm sure you're going to be amazed by the reading. I've um, shuffled them, I prayed upon them, I looked at a picture of you, I've picked you up to a T. So here's your reading, dear one. Okay, so the first card actually answers your question. In one, actually. Um, so we have the lover's card. Now the lover's card is about relationships, it's about beliefs and values. So your question is answered in one card, dear one. Um, there's going to be a man who's going to come into your life um, and he's going to be an air sign. Air signs are normally Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. I feel, because um, the lover's card is Gemini, I feel he's going to be Gemini. He's going to be a very romantic man and he's going to literally sweep you off your feet. You are going to be, it's going to be an amazing, you will know when you meet him. He will be the man for you. It will be a relationship that will last and it will be a relationship where you will be very, very happy. Um, I see you very much twin flames, very much soulmates, doing things together um, to do with... Uh, you do things together, you're going to open your heart to him and talk about the life that you've been through, what you've been through. Um, I feel that you've had a lot of health issues to do with, um, to do with your uh, a female problem, I feel that you've had, that is actually okay now. You're going to talk about what you've gone through um, and he, uh, he has been through something which I'll go through later with you. So this is a relationship of soulmates, of um, someone who's going to just change your life dramatically. It's teamed up with the Empress card, which is abundance and pregnancy. I can't, I don't think you can see that. Sorry, it's just I've done eight cards today. I'll move this a bit. Okay, so the second card teamed up with the Lover's card is the Empress. Um, card and that's really about you being a mother, running a home, being very organized, very loving person, very giving person, very selfless person. You think about others before yourself. You're very much a very giving person and that's the part of, um, of you that this man is going to really like. That down-to-earth, caring, selfless person that you are. I'm playing Westlife in the background, I don't know if you can hear it, with love songs. I just felt that that was poignant doing this reading for you. And there's hearts all around you. You're going to be like a loved up teenager and it's going to be you again. Now next to you is the Devil card. And the Devil card can actually be quite a negative card. Although you are a Capricorn, and Capricorn, um, we all have a major arcana card associated with our star sign. And ironically, yours is the devil card. So, um, it really does put your reading up there in the pedestal of amazing you know, like the aha moment, that not only the first card that we drew answered your question, the third card is actually you. So, what you have gone through in your life, you need to move forward from. You're tending to live from things that have happened in the past. You need to forgive, to forget, and to move on. Your life is beautiful ahead of you. I feel like I want to cry because I feel what you've been through, what you've been through as a woman has, has been very challenging and I'm feeling the pain as I'm reading this. 
So what we're being told by my guides, by my angels, by me as a tarot reader and you as a friend, move on from that, you know, don't live in the bondage of the past, you know, of illness, of unhappiness. Now your life is moving forward to a new you, to a new life. Um, and it's going, I'm going to be so excited for you when it happens. It's teamed up with the Nine of Pentacles, which is money, success and home improvement. So you're very much a businesswoman and I feel that you need to move on with your business side of your life. You're going to get lots of offers, put it out into the universe. What do you want to do? Do you want to have your own practice? Do you want to do something other than what you're doing now? You need to be doing something different, something that is your calling and you know, that is going to really be a big money making exercise. You're going to be very, very successful. You're going to do home improvements, new carpets, um, new furniture. There's lots of things happening with regards to business activities. And next to it is the Ace of Swords, which is something happening very quickly that you're going to, it's going to really, you will cut through all, when you have this sword in your hand, you are going to cut through all your negativity, all your past. You are Archangel Michael. You have that sword in your hand. You can conquer all your fears, all your wounds. You can conquer it with this sword in your hand. This is protecting you. You have an inordinate amount of guides around you. It's an amazing. I've never done a reading for someone who has had so many guides and angels around them. You have so many. You need to call upon them and know that Archangel Michael is holding his sword as you are. You are cutting away all the cords of the past. All the cords of negativity are all being thrown away, cut around you and it's like the card that I've had the, in the past in my readings the gatekeeper card your path is there what do you want to do all you need to do is set that intention and to walk one step at a time into your future you have that sword that will protect you no one can harm you in your life anymore you have the positive thoughts the positive feelings you have very, very high vibrations around you. Your thoughts create your reality. And you're going, to, you're going to have so much to do with work where you're going to just... The stable door is open. So you've opened the door already. All you need to do is open the door within your heart, within your soul, within yourself, and know that you... Are the keeper to your to the keys to your kingdom to your life and it's going to you are a special chosen person and you know the angels and the guides are really really there for you okay so my last two cards are quite um, different to the others so the first card is um, the king of swords now he is one of the air signs and it says stern, fair roll um, and it says leave emotions and it's teamed up with five of cups. So I can, I can read two things into this. Is there um, a passing, has someone passed away in the past who's had an emotional attachment to you um, and has had a loss and it, you're, it's as if it's a uh, you're still carrying it but I feel it's more to do with the man that you're going to meet he is going to be a very intellectual um, but he's going to have to he's gone through loss he's gone through some sort of bereavement and you are going to be there for him you're going to become friends and then you're going to become something more intimate so you are going to help this man who has gone through loss, who has gone through bereavement. So you're going to meet him either through work or through friends. That's how you're going to meet him. And I think he's got a property of his own. Um, and there's going to be um, talk of, are you going to sell both properties 
or are you going to move in together are you going to rent another property all these things are going to be coming up um, so in summary of the reading the first card actually answered the question dear one um, you're going to find a lovely man who is definitely going to be an air sign I would I would be vying around the Gemini Aquarius type um, and um, you are very much a homemaker you love your family you're very down to earth you're very practical you're very giving um, the devil card does upset me somewhat as you must have heard and felt in my voice it's the past it's your um, your health issues that you've had in the past and I feel that pain within me and know that you move on from there you know don't let the bondage of the past of your health issues um, come into today it is yesterday it's not today and as I say the devil card is actually your card your Capricorn card the nine of pentacles is business you're business minded you have a mind for business put it out to the universe know that what you give out comes back to you um, the ace of swords is you protecting yourself protecting what you've been through protecting your future protecting your family your friends you know you are as if Archangel Michael you are that earth angel but you're like the Archangel Michelle you know you are that person cut you have that sword in your hand dear one cut it away cut it away and I see a path ahead of you a path with this lovely man and you and a business a business for you where money is going to flow you're going to meet this man to do with either work or you're going to meet him through a friend he's going to have lost something I would say he's bereaved and you will meet him in that aspect of your life you have met him before in a different life um, you are twin flames you are soulmates you are made for each other well I hope this resonates with you um, if you want any more readings I'll always always do it for you namaste and God bless Karen